maker moments. Make a space dragon. All right, so hey everyone. Today we're gonna be making a space dragon. So you don't need a ton of supplies for this particular make. Just a cardboard tube, tape, cardboard, a small pencil, some round head fasteners, scissors, and a glue gun. All right, so there's a lot of cardboard cutting in this craft. We're gonna go ahead and get some pieces prepared, although we may need a little bit more as we go along. I've got some triangles, uh, some cardboard tubes, some rectangles, some long skinny pieces, and some more triangles. All right, but now we're gonna get to maybe one of the more important pieces of cardboard, and that's creating some sort of L shapes. And these are gonna be part of the head of our dragon. So I'm gonna go ahead and get some L shapes ready here. And now I'm gonna get some smaller rectangles and create the bottom of my mouth. And you'll need to get some of these rectangles ready. And you're gonna to have to measure off the top pieces that you cut to make sure that the bottom pieces match. Now you can see here that I'm making bottom pieces that are gonna match the size of my top L piece. And this is gonna be for my head. We're gonna to need to make sure that we have two of each and that everything matches up exactly. The best way to cut these is just to cut those L pieces and test whatever the bottom jaw is gonna be. You might want an overbite or an underbite. So just kind of play around with it until you feel like it's a good fit. All right, so now we're gonna work on actually putting our heads together. You can see I've got my two bottom jaws here and I'm gonna put a single tiny rectangle in between. And you wanna kind of adjust it and cut it if you need to to make sure that the sides can fold up. And I can make that middle piece a little skinnier if I need to. Once I feel better about it, I'm gonna go ahead and add some tape. And again, this is gonna be the bottom of our jaw. And now we're gonna work on putting on the top part of our head. And I'm gonna take the two L pieces that are gonna be the top and figure out sort of where they need to join together with the bottom piece. Once I've done that, I'll use the pencil to bore through and mark on both sides of the head so that I can attach the top L pieces to the bottom jaw. All right, so once I feel like I'm ready to go, I'll take some of my fasteners here and put them inside of the two pieces. So the fastener is gonna go all the way through the cardboard onto this, what's gonna be the inside of the head. And I wanna make sure that I don't have any metal poking out the sides. And I'm even gonna put some tape over top of the metal bracket so that the pieces don't get stuck when I try and move the jaw. All right, so I've got one side of my head on and now I'll do the other. I'm gonna make sure that the jaw can move freely. And I'm gonna go ahead and tape the top of our head together off camera. I also added another piece of cardboard and a bunch of extra tape to kind of fill out the rest of my jaw. So you can kind of adjust as needed for the jaw that you created. Now it's time to add our neck. So I'm gonna take one of my larger rectangles and put it behind the head here with some hot glue. So I, next I'm gonna take my cardboard tube and kind of just adjust it here for the body. And you can use a paper towel tube or a toilet paper tube or just a big piece of cardboard. I like that it gives it a little bit of, of sort of 3D body depending on how much you kind of fold it or crease it. And we're gonna go ahead and glue that on. So make sure you leave some space for the neck and I'm gonna go ahead and cut some more triangles here. It helps to kind of plan what your wings are going to look like before you get to gluing. So I'm going to lay out some stuff here. And as I'm going to glue some of the triangles, I'm going to make sure that I'm only gluing them on the end of the wings when I'm putting on the extras uh, and not towards the middle because we're going to need that space for our fasteners before we glue anything on. So now it's time to create a brace that we're going to use to put our wings on. I'm going to take one of my larger, wider rectangles and line it up here along the body. And I'm going to take some skinny rectangles and create some brackets here using the hot glue. And that's just to sort of help you know, support that larger piece on top. So it's just gonna give it a little bit of extra structure. I'm gonna go ahead and cut a little bit of the cardboard off so that the wing fits a little better. There we go. It's always good to test and make sure everything looks pretty cool. All right, so we're gonna do the same trick again here using our pencil to bore some holes. And we're also gonna do that to the wings. Then we'll add our brackets so that we have moving wings on top as well. So there we go. Remember as you're doing these that you can kind of use your pencil to help line things up exactly when you're using the brackets. And you don't have to worry too much about taping this time unless you just want to cover that metal up uh, or, you know, just to make sure that it doesn't move too much. All right, it's looking pretty good. So now we'll glue on the other triangles and use those even to cover up the top of the brackets. I'm also going to add some large triangles to the back here, and that's just to give a little bit of extra space for my tail and because my dragon doesn't really have a lower body right now. And I'm going to glue a couple long skinny pieces together now for my tail. I used a certain style of cardboard for this. So I'm just gonna put two sides together to make sure that you get that look on both sides. And then I'm just gonna do another fastener at the end. I ended up adding a little bit of extra glue eventually here because the tail is almost too loose. And I'll just add a couple of extra decorative pieces here at the end. The last thing here that I forgot to add is some little legs. So maybe your dragon cocks their legs in when they fly, but I think I want my dragon to have some little legs. So I'll add just two skinny pieces there. And now I have a dragon. So to make it a space dragon, I gave it a cool comet tail, some sort of jeweled wings, pearl eyes, pink teeth, and even a cool horn on the top. 
And of course, I had to give it a little bit of space to fly through. It was really fun to make this space dragon, so I hope you enjoy making yours. Uh, feel free to decorate however you like, and thank you so much for joining us on Maker Moments.